Hello everyone, welcome to Utilize Your Strength. Today we will share with you 7 Signs of Narcissistic Victim Syndrome. Narcissistic Victim Syndrome refers to a set of symptoms and behaviors experienced by individuals who are in relationships with narcissists. It is not an officially recognized medical diagnosis, but actually, it is used to describe the psychological and emotional effects of being involved with a narcissistic person. Many experts say that narcissistic abuse can have serious long-term effects on a person's mental and emotional health, and they can also be traumatized. These victims may suffer from PTSD and complex PTSD. So, let's discuss some of the essential highlights. Number 1. In the beginning, you thought your relationship with that person was perfect. When you are in a romantic relationship with a narcissist, this type of abuse builds up very slowly. At the very beginning of a relationship, when love bombing happens, they pull you close and give you gifts, and that person seems perfect for you. Then, when you fall in love with your partner so deeply that it becomes impossible for you to live without them. At that time, they want to leave you and starts all kinds of abusive behavior. Then slowly, the narcissistic partner's manipulation tactics begin to consume the relationship and you become the victim of that narcissistic person. Number 2. You've acquired a deep feeling of mistrust. Are you extremely alert of your surroundings? Do you feel worried and restless about other people's intentions? It is because your narcissistic partner's gaslighting techniques, all the false abusive manipulation of them, has affected your perspective on the world, and you realize that you can't trust anyone easily, not even yourself. Number 3. You could exhibit behavior that undermines and harms yourself. Narcissistic victims are always fighting in their head about their past abuse which can lead to self-harm and extreme negative self-talk. A narcissistic person will play with your thoughts and program your mind in such a way that you are driven to harmful and self-destructive behaviors. You always want to punish yourself because all the toxic shame and guilt you carry in your mind, which the narcissistic abuser instilled in you through verbal aggression and fault-finding criticism. Number 4. You may experience unexpected physical symptoms. Narcissistic abuse can lead to feelings of anxiety and depression, which can lead to serious physical problems. This type of mental state can increase your stress levels excessively. It can weaken your immune system and leaving your body more susceptible to various illness. You may experience various symptoms in your body, such as eating disorders, muscle pain, and headaches. This constant stress and emotional disbalance can disrupt your body's normal functioning and making it harder to maintain overall health and well-being. Number 5. You are extremely cautious with your words and actions. A common symptom of trauma is avoidance of things that make you want to re-experience that specific trauma again, whether it's a person place or activity that triggers your flashback, you begin to feel like you're constantly preoccupied with thoughts and you become aware of what you say and do in front of others. Because this is how you used to behave around your abusers. You always present yourself as an anxious and introverted person, especially in front of other people. Actually, the narcissistic individual instilled extreme self-doubt and fear within you. Number 6. You may have faced smear campaigns after the relationship ended. A smear campaign is a deliberate effort to damage someone's reputation by spreading false or misleading information. When a breakup happens, it is common for people to take sides. If your ex-partner is a narcissistic abuser, they will twist your words and tell others by framing all the facts in their favor so they can gain sympathy from others. They gain this sympathy, especially from your loved ones, by insisting them 
that they always had something good for you in their hearts. Then, when you want to talk to everyone about the abusive behavior that happened to you, your close people may take side with your narcissistic scheming partner. These types of incidents create a mental barrier between you and your supportive people, which can leave you feeling isolated. Number 7. Isolation makes you vulnerable. When the people who support you don't believe in you and push you away, it creates loneliness within you. And when you feel lonely, you are more prone to being manipulated by your abuser. At this opportunity, they may come to you and offer false apologies to show mercy by covering up all their past wrongdoings. This technique is called hovering. In fact, narcissistic people know very well that when you don't have a supportive person to talk to, you start doubting your past abuses and they use this situation to use you more. So, do you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments section. If you want to know about any other topic, tell us in the comment box, we will make a video on that topic. Hope this video helps you to gain new knowledge, show your love by giving a like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.